Hi, this is Cami from Scrap Orchard here with another Thursday's tip. This week I will be showing you how to blend papers using masks in Photoshop. For this part of the demo, I am going to use a graffiti element to create a mask on the gray paper so that it looks like the gray paper and the blue paper are blended. First, I will control click on the layer thumbnail of the object I want to use for my mask. In this case, it is the graffiti element. This will make a selection of the object and you will see marching ants around the outside of the selected area. I am going to turn off the visibility on the graffiti layer and turn on the visibility for the gray paper so we can see when the mask is applied. Click on the layer you want to mask. In this case it is the gray paper. Click on the Add Vector Mask icon at the bottom of your layers palette. It is the icon that looks a little bit like a camera. A layer mask has been added to the gray paper and the area we selected is the only part that we can see now. You can also use brushes to blend your papers together. For this example, I used a brush that looks like bubble wrap to mask the multicolored diamond paper. For this example, I combined a few of my favorite brushes to create the mask shape and used it to mask the yellow pattern paper. And for my last example, I used a brush to create a border around the edge of my paper and used it to mask the multicolor polka dot paper. For more digital scrapbooking tutorials, tips, and tricks, visit the Scrap Orchard blog.